After opening way back in 1932, the Anthony Wayne Bridge is still a vital passage across the Maumee River, and it's now designated as the official civil engineering landmark for our region. What does all that mean? John Monk joins us live with more information on why this bridge is considered to be so important for us here in our area. John? Yeah, Melissa, well, before the Anthony Wayne Bridge was opened back in the early 1930s, there was no guaranteed way to cross the Maumee River without the potential of being stopped by a drawbridge, which is why everyone in attendance at a dedication ceremony this morning say without this bridge, the greater Toledo area would look a lot different today. To celebrate the 100th anniversary of the American Society of Civil Engineers Toledo section, ASCE members voted to recognize the Anthony Wayne Bridge as Northwest Ohio's civil engineering landmark. A new permanent educational display was unveiled at Middle Grounds Metro Park explaining how this bridge's opening in 1931 completely changed the Toledo economic outlook almost a century ago. Before we had a bunch of drawbridges, and we still have a lot of drawbridges that go over the Maumee, but this really enabled commerce to really flourish in, in Toledo and in Northwest Ohio because it allowed a unfettered access between the east and west sides of the river. The bridge is the only remaining suspension bridge maintained by ODOT and has seen three major rehabilitation projects. Its construction preceded the federal interstate highway system, so for decades it acted as the primary artery of commerce industry and tourism for our region. You just think of the, this area without the bridge. If the bridge didn't exist, it, we wouldn't, this area wouldn't have developed either side. Uh, it wouldn't have provided the connectivity and really it would have hurt Toledo's progress over the years all the way up to through today. And I learned something new today about the Anthony Wayne Bridge. It was constructed entirely from local dollars. There was no help from the state or from the federal government. That's because Toledo voters in 1928 approved a $3 million bond measure that raised their taxes. That's because they wanted to get this bridge built. Now, adjust for inflation, right, from 1928 to now. That would be like us approving a more than $60 million project exclusively out of our tax dollars. Pretty amazing. For now reporting in downtown Toledo, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.